Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. So over the past week, I built 2019's Ultimate 2S Brushless Tiny Whoop, and I'm just gonna get right into it and tell you guys, this thing is simply awesome. There was no real big surprises in the build video. Everything went together really straightforward. I'd say the only real catch with that was the teeny tiny soldering pads on the flight controller. I think that's gonna be quite challenging for some of you to be successful soldering on that board. While we did the build, I recommend that maybe you get a microscope to aid you with that type of teeny tiny soldering. Uh, but anyway, let's get into the conclusion and I'm gonna tell you everything that I like and everything that I don't. To start, I like pretty much everything about this little guy, start to finish. In fact, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10 and I'm gonna get into why it's not a 10 out of 10, but it is really close. I love the power, I love the handling. This little guy flies like a dream. It's almost like a tiny whoop with five inch power and handling, maybe a little less stability, but I think that has to do more with the actual weight and size of the aircraft but I love flying this thing. I can't say it enough. This is definitely a build that worked out and I couldn't be happier. With the positives out of the way, let's get into, well, what I don't like. And that list is short. This little guy is a power hungry beast. This thing is like a tiny Tasmanian devil and I am not joking. Flight times average between about a minute 45 and two minutes on the Newbie Drone 250 milliamp Nitro Nectar batteries. I think I'm gonna pursue a 350 milliamp option for this as far as the batteries go, and hopefully I'll get a little bit more flight time out of it. I'm okay with being slightly under two minutes because of the performance, but it would be pretty sweet to be able to get two minutes or more out of this guy. Range is awesome. Crossfire is never a fail. The 200 milliwatt VTX in this gives you range for days, but those two guys, they're gonna consume power as well. And they're gonna need a little bit more energy than what your typical Tiny Whoop would. There's some of my thoughts on what is so far my favorite Tiny Whoop of the beginning of the 2019-2020 season. I think it's time to fly this thing. You've listened to me talk enough. I've been talking about this thing for days. Let's get some batteries strapped in and go to the moon. Hopefully, 
with a little bit of that flight footage, you're gonna see exactly what kind of performance this thing has. And let me tell you, it is amazing. Well, as I'm sure you can tell, I'm out here in the middle of the country, I'm getting eaten alive by bugs, and I'm hungry and I'm ready to get something to eat. So I think it's time to wrap this video up. I wanna say thank you to Banggood for sending me majority of the parts to do this build. I really appreciate it. As always, thank you to Hot Dog FPV. We've got a whole new line of swag out for the winter season. Make sure you guys pick something up. But that's all I got here today. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.